What's up guys? Welcome back to episode six of the Boat Deck Build. I got some more packages. Uh, let's jump right in and see what's in here. I got some three-way wire crimps, which will be used for my blue LED lights. Some screws. Lots of fuses. Turns out my fuse box did not have any fuses that came with it, so I had to buy fuses. I got some marine grade 14 gauge wire that I'm gonna be using for the lights. Guys, I got some soldering connectors. Uh, these are going to be crucial for keeping water out of your, your wiring assembly. I'll uh, show you guys more about that when I do some wiring and show you how it melts and solders together. It's going to be awesome. I got two vents to kind of provide some ventilation for the deck and for my step. That way I can get some hot air and fresh air in and out of the deck location for uh, a little bit of cooling when this thing heats up. I got some more fiberglass primer and I have a little story about this. If you guys kept up on the other videos, I called Amazon about that den can and I was pretty damaged and uh, complained a little bit and got them to send me a new can for free. So let's put free on the budget. Yeah, I'm really glad they worked with me on that. That's awesome, because I think I might need two cans. We'll find out when I start uh, applying it all, and I'll keep you guys posted if I need two or not. I bought a soldering assortment of terminal kits. I'll dig into that more when we start wiring, but it's going to be a nice little soldering uh, connector that you can melt around the wire. It's going to be really nice. These are plastic wire clamps for when I'm routing the wire through the deck. I'm going to screw these in and that's what the screws are for. And it'll hold the wire, tuck it up, keep it nice and tight and out of the way and not dangling in the way of where you're trying to put all your storage. So. Last but not least, I went to Academy Sports the other day. Red Beard Outdoors. And was looking into a aerator for my live well. And I went ahead and got this Fish Saver by Marine Metal Products. And pretty much how it works is it has these suction cups and it'll sit in my live well and circulate the water and keep oxygen in there to uh, help keep my fish alive. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wire this up to a switch so I can turn it on and off. So whenever I'm trying to keep fish alive in the live well, I'll have this guy ready to go. Next up, I had to run to Home Depot again. Unfortunately, this spot right here in the front of the deck, I did not have enough surface area to cover the, the hole that was left right here. And so I had to go buy a whole nother sheet of plywood because this is roughly like six foot across from here. The piece of plywood I had was four foot and less, so it wasn't gonna work. So now I gotta get a whole new sheet, which I already did, and fill in this gap right here. And then my hinges that I have will go right here and this will open up eventually. First step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this vent into my step, get that going. I also need to finish the front wall up. We trimmed that up in the last video. I just need to assemble that, do a little bit of uh, routing on the corners and get that smoothed out and it should be ready to fit right into the front up here. So. I need to get that done also. So I'll work on the step first, get the vent in it, and then work on the wall next. This has a lip right here. 
and it's going to be really hard to uh, get a pencil in there and try to make a circular outline. I was hoping I could trace this. So I'm going to have to do it the old fashioned way and measure, which is going to make it a little bit harder. But uh, I'm going to see what I can come up with and go from there. Okay guys, I did something a little bit different. I kind of stamped a circle right here. It's not the best circle. I did what I could. I'm gonna make an outline, cut it out, and then I'm probably gonna have to trim it up just a little bit, but um, it should get the job done. Pretty awful, let's see what happens though. All right, I got it guys. Took a lot of work, but it's in there. Ready to go. Guys, in the last video you saw me chop this up and I need to uh, put the rest of the boards back in and uh, then give it a curved edge. Alright guys, next I'm going to give this a curved edge right here. Alright, here's a quick look at how this is going to be. I think I need to go ahead and add another vent right up here. So this, this vent right here will be for the step and this vent will be for the uh, storage compartment. I kind of want to line those up so they're in a straight line right here. So I'm going to get that hole going and get that vent in there. And then also I need to get my battery charging port into a wall right here. So I'm going to start planning on a spot for that next. I was gonna line it up right here with the vent, but uh, I just realized that's not gonna work because I have a support brace right here. So what I'm gonna have to do is put it probably right here, right above the control panel. A little unfortunate, but oh well. I know my holes are pretty awful, but the, uh, the vent will cover that up and hide any imperfections. I need to uh, line up a light right here. So I'm gonna use that as a reference and put a light up here. And like I said, I need to get this uh, outlet for the battery charger put in here. I need to figure out where I'm gonna put that. I have a support beam right here, so I'm gonna put this off to the side. It's gonna end up right here like this. It's gonna be in line with the light. So let me start drilling the hole for that.
There we go, guys. Look at that. Kind of hard to get in there, but um, just kind of use the drill and bore a hole. Once again, not not pretty, but it's gonna get covered up, so I didn't care as much. There we go, boys and girls. It's kind of uh, what the product's gonna look like. I know I don't have anything in the step right now, other than that vent, but um, I've already seeded all that stuff, and I don't really wanna put it back in because all this has to come back out. I just wanted to uh, pre-seed the screws. That way, when it's in the boat, it's easy to screw all these screws in without making any mistakes. Here she is in all her glory. It's looking pretty good. Right here, I'm going to have my 24 volt battery plug-in charger port right here. All I gotta do is plug that in right there. So, yeah, that should be pretty sweet. I'm gonna move forward. I'm gonna pull this stuff back out because like I said, all it has to come out is eventually we'll get a fiberglass primer over it and then it's gonna get painted black, this wall and the step. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take all this off. After that, I'm gonna remove the rod holder bracket that's in the way in the boat. You know what? Instead of losing screws and parts, I'm just gonna leave this screwed in until it's time to paint. I'll take it out later. So let's get in the boat and try to get this bracket out of there. There she is. I just wanted to get a feel for uh, what you guys were looking at and what you're gonna see. Show you somewhat of a completed product. Man, it looks awesome. Can't wait to start doing the wiring and whatnot. The more I look at this lid, the more I need to figure out how I'm going to open up this lid and whatnot. I haven't really figured that one out yet. I don't know if it's going to go straight back like this. I guess it could. Well, actually, no, it can't. It, the hinges won't work that way. So it's almost like it needs to open up off to the side. That's going to be an issue. In all actuality, it probably needs to open up like this. which kind of sucks. Um, that's really not gonna work too well for me, but I don't know how else to uh, go about doing it. So that's another one I'm gonna have to ponder with. I think it's pretty much gonna have to open up this way through the front like this.
trying to think of an idea, but that's pretty much all I got right now, so. All right, guys, things are really coming along. Things are looking pretty freaking awesome. I'm pretty happy with all this, knock on wood. But, uh, yeah, we got the step looking good and the wall, and we somewhat have the deck configured. Still a long ways to go until this project's done, but if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified of the upcoming videos. And if you've missed the ones in the past, go check out my channel. And I'll also have links down in the description below. Hit that like button if you got any uh, tips or tricks from this build here today. And uh, leave a comment if you have any questions. You wanna know how I did anything, I'll try to answer them the best I can. I will see you guys on the next Redbeard Outdoors episode. Remember, get outside and keep fishing. Catch you guys later.